Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how to create a real chatbot for your website. In last video, I have some demonstration to create some very simple chatbot, but this one is something real uh, for your uh, website. Uh, it's something like this. So it's a float on your uh, web page located in the lower right. So you could ask some question. Uh, can I order a fried rice or oh, something like this so it will give you the real answer based on your uh, content your knowledge uh, so it could maximize this one minimize this one resize uh, also you could close this one and start a new session yeah so this is how you could put this one to your website floating on your website I have the source code so you could uh, download the source code from the github I will put the github uh, link in my description okay so let's start uh, first of all you need to create the front end UI the front end UI is the layout uh, for your chatbot uh, everything like here so I will show you, I already created that, I will show you the um, main uh, structure of this UI. I may not create from the beginning, but I can show you some some main concept. Okay. The next one, we will create a, a service. The service, once we click the send button, we will send the uh, message to the server side, and the server side will call the open AI API and get the response. Uh, finally, we will show you uh, how to customize your um, prompt. Uh, like uh, we, this is for a restaurant or this is for some um, technical um, website. So you need to customize your uh, own prompt. Otherwise, it's just do some regular uh, question uh, answer and uh, ask and answer something like that so this is a workflow so browser post the request to the uh, I use the Python to I use the Python flask uh, framework to do the uh, service to do a web API and I, I use the open AI to call the, I call the open AI with the open AI key uh, service so I got the response once I got the response I send the response back to the browser so it's pretty uh, common workflow let's start from let's start from beginning start from the code so first thing let's go let's uh, go to the front end code front end code I use the uh, uh, visual studio code so I have um, this folder uh, contain. I already have this right, so you don't need. To, I, I'm not going to write from the beginning. It's going to take a very long time. So uh, this is the resource file. I have the image, uh, like the this image, this send button image, uh, or this minimize image. I have everything uh, located in the image folder. Uh, so you can see it's over here. Uh, this is the main page. It's pretty simple. It's just one page with uh, like a 300 nav code. Uh, let me explain that one. So we have some style. This style about the pop-up style, the size, position, uh, the button, the bottom uh, icon, the size, the color over here. So everything about the style is over here. Uh, a bunch of style, the border, something, yeah. So this is some I use the um, some uh, style from the Bootstrap. I uh, use some jQuery function. So I re add the reference over here. Then next one is uh, the main, the most important one is the button. Is the, this button when we click the when we click uh, send this button is very important so if you look at the we have a button called um, btn send 
this one if you search this one you will see I bind uh, I bind uh, events over here so let's send when I click this one we call send uh, method this one will post a message to the server side here is the server side URL so it's do the post the post is just a uh, jQuery uh, Ajax uh, jQuery sent, which is uh, very easy to understand. And this one, we once we got the response, we put the content to the text box, and we also put the content to the uh, session storage, because if you want to refresh the page. I want the content still over there until you close the page. If you close the page, uh, you may we may not want uh, the content over there. So if you click this one, if you refresh the page, your content is still over there, pretty normal, which is. So let's start. Uh, mm, this is the front end, uh, just the UI, just the, the layout HTML UI. Next one, we will show you the back end. The back end is a Python service. So this one, I can start from beginning to create a new one, uh, because most of code is located in the um, front, in the, in the um, back end. Let me start the new project. That's a new project, okay, three. Okay, let's add a new Python Python um, project. Okay, now let's first one. Let's set up the environment and uh, import something um, library. Import some library. I need to use the Flask because Flask is a uh, uh, web API uh, framework. So I use this one. Uh, I also need to support the cross domain because this domain is not exactly the same domain as the front end. Uh, also, I import the open AI. I set the cross domain. I import the open AI. Now I set up the open AI uh, API uh, uh, API key. So next thing, let's put uh, something. Let's put the main code over here. Um, this is the root. So once something, someone requests uh, the this root, I will it will call the code over here. Um, also it will get the parameter from the post request. Once I got the message, I extract the message from the JSON and use this message to request the uh, Open AI. So um, right now we just say you are a help uh, assistant. Just okay. it will give you some generic quick answer. I see the mask token, the temperature. Yeah. Uh, then once I get the response, I just send the response. I just create another uh, JSON and send the response back to the client side, uh, which is pretty easy. So let's run this one. Okay, so now it's running. To test, uh, if you open this one, it may say, okay, uh, it's not working because it's a post. So you need to use the, um, pi, uh, the postman to do the test. Here is the postman. I create this one. So let's start from beginning. So you use this one, also use the post. You need to specify the parameter. For the parameter, you need to specify the raw data, and the format is the JSON. So you say, okay, message equal test. Now let's get sent. You will say here. You will say get a two hundred, which is return correct. So I'm here with for okay. So now the back end is working. Let's try. Let's run the. Uh, let's get the front end also working. 
So I would stop this one and start it. Now you will open a new page. So this new page, and let's say hello or hey. Now it gets you some response. If you say, okay, can I order a uh, fried rice? It may not give you the right answer. So it's need uh, some time. Okay, you say, okay, I'm not your, um, I'm not able to do that. So let's say, let's, help, let's fix this one. Let's go um, here. Uh, image your uh, restaurant, uh, restaurant um, website. So let's go over here. Let's customize the prompt. Let's say, okay, you are not just a helpful assistant. You are a helpful restaurant assistant. What you sell, what you have, or something like that. So now I will say, okay, you are a helpful restaurant assistant. The restaurant sell fried rice. The price is something like that. So here you could get uh, the your menu from the database or from the even from the PDF and put that to the from over here. Let's uh, do a quick test. So once I res restart the service and go back to our browser. Now let's refresh this page. Okay, it's not able to. So now let's ask the same question again. Because I already need the open AI now. It is a uh, it is a restaurant assistant. So it say, okay, I can order that. I know it's done the order. Friday, they can give you the exact the price. So that is how it's working. Uh, so if you are, uh, if you are some website uh, manager, if the if your business is about uh, like operation something, if you have the manual, you could just put your manual. Just load your manual and put your manual to the content over here. It will help you answer the question from the customer. So that is how this get work. Uh, I think that's pretty much all for this video. Thank you for watching. I will put the all source code to the GitHub. Uh, I will put the link to the description of the video. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye.